Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. Pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce bio their but they shed under the surface, blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you.
seems strong enough. Toxanol built vessels called Arks to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Toxanol built vessels called Arks to save themselves from the impending doom. But There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door.
Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Wherefore, where were? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child. There have been rumors of a one eyed Ronin seen up. The legend of the one-eyed child that... The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled... There's no doubt. He says it has taken you a long time to bring... It was after the attack that the unity... Had it... Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Uh -huh. 
Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing... He understands why you came all the way up. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little... You might... The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there. You found one. You should be proud that the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will. You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the... <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be... <laughs> You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eye, from this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a Yayato. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the world eat Mopu Far Kobi. The... His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. 
He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. <laughs> <laughs> 